Good morning and welcome to number nine Green Howards Road, situated in the ultra popular district of Satan. This newish build, Red Row, um, Richmond design. Richmond being one of the most popular designs I've found on the resales within this development. Reason being, I think very, very attractive looking property, but also a great design. I recently sold the Richmond without even putting it on the market. They are that popular within this development. Now this property I quite like because it's situated on the corner. You've got some nice green space to the side and you've got a lovely view from upstairs in particular down the development. So you feel like you've got a, quite an open aspect. Now this property has been well improved. It had a number of upgrades originally from the builder, but then the owners have actually improved the property over, over the last recent years. So it's a really good, ready to move into property but with some great quality additions. So I'm stood on a double width tarmacadden driveway, which leads you through to a double integral garage. The double garage though, has had tiled flooring put down, so it's a really comfortable um, garage. You've also got this lawn front garden. The owner is a fantastic gardener, so the borders are well stocked. You've got this lovely hedging here, just giving you a bit of boundary onto the road. So without further ado, let me show you around. So as we go on the paved pathway, we lead up to a coloured composite entrance door into what I love about these properties, really big entrance hall. So you go into the large entrance hall, you've got two large cloaks cupboards. So this one is a coats cupboard, great for putting your coats in there. And then this one is a great storage cupboard where the owners put some built-in shelving in there. So again, great storage as soon as you come in. Just off, you've got the downstairs cloakroom slash WC. So nice white suite. So that's your entrance hall. And then at the front of this design, I'll just close the door. At the front of this design, you've got the living room. Really, really spacious living room. Again, nice open aspect. You haven't got much of a property opposite you. The carpets, by the way, are about 18 months old. So the property's been recarpeted since new. And you've got this wall mounted slimline electric fire, which just gives you a nice central feature. So big UPVC window, giving you lots and lots of natural light and looking out into the development. So this is your main sort of living room, drawing room. And then we go into what I feel is the heart of the house. So as you walk through this door here, you enter this great breakfast kitchen. You've got the oversized porcelain tiles. The owner's upgraded to put granite worktops on. Um, the granite breakfast bar is here. Um, they also upgraded to put the, the double fridge and freezer. So we've got fridge, freezer, fridge, freezer. There is a Smeg dishwasher here. All the appliances are Smeg. Again, I believe that to be another upgrade and you've got your five ring Smeg gas hob with the extractor over. So really nice kitchen. I think this island really works here. It's a great bit of preparation space, I think, and you could have guests sat there at the breakfast bar. You've got your hob there and you're overlooking the fine garden. You've got a double, double sink with mixer tap there. So it's just a really well set out kitchen. The spotlights give you lots and lots of good lighting. And then from the kitchen, you splay off to two rooms. And I've seen a few of these designs Everyone does a little bit different, but I think the owners have got this one just right in the way they've chosen how to use these rooms. So this room here, the owners have used as a sitting room. I sold somewhere, this is a dining room, each their own. I like it as a sitting room because you've got the French door straight onto the barbecue area. Um, that barbecue, I'm told, is used quite regularly, summer and winter, and you're onto a block paved patio area, which is lovely, private, secluded, feels really well enclosed. So on a summer's day, the owners tell me what they love more than anything in this house is having the French doors wide open and then the barbecue and patio area becomes part of the house. So this sitting area, whilst being a lot smaller than the living room, is actually a really well used part of the home by the current owners. So that's our second bit of reception space. We go back through the kitchen and we go into the dining room. And again, I think this makes total sense. Having the dining room to this side, it's a little bit deeper. So great for a dining table. You've then got the French doors onto your second patio. So again, if you're entertaining with guests and it's summer's day, you've got seating area outside to carry on outside. And as you walk around the house, there's some fantastic light fittings. The owners have told me they are open to negotiations to include them within the sale. So there's lots of nicely fitted things like curtain poles, which are open for discussion. So off the dining room, and again, that's why I think this makes sense, you've got the utility room. You've finished your, your meal with your guests, you want to throw everything in here, close the door, the kitchen's nice and tidy, and you can relax straight away. So I just think functionally works really well. You've got a double glazed door which takes you through to the side of the property. So again, ideal for, for nipping out and doing bins, and there's gated access to the front. Now I don't normally show people garages, but it's a very, very tidy garage. 
So internal door into a double garage. And the owner, again, has put this rubberized towel flooring down. So that saves for dust. If you've got a nice classic car, you're not going to get dust all over it. But it's just, again, a nice workspace. You've got a new 18-month-old Valiant combination boiler there, which the owners tell me is the Rolls-Royce of boilers. And they've really noticed an upturn in, in how the home is heated since, since changing that boiler. So again, that was another significant upgrade. You've got your big up and over door. I say it's got lighting. It's more than a garage, really, more of a, a sort of indoor workshop. So that's the garage. Okay, so that's from the garage. One thing I probably didn't show you in the utility room, there's a useful understairs storage cupboard. So as we go up to the first floor, again, the carpet continues, 18 month old, high quality carpet. I love that this nice timber effect balustrade takes you up to the first floor. And again, another principal feature of this property, which I really, really love, is the landing. It's got a lovely galleried feel, just a feeling of space. You're not crammed in at all in this home. And I think having a nice roomy landing really suits a house of this size. Now I'll take you through to the master bedroom suite first. So there's four bedrooms in total, they're all doubles. The master bedroom though is a great size. It's probably got the best outlook in my opinion. I do love an open outlook. So you're looking straight down the development and as you can see how handy it is. You've got the co-op in the far distance and so not too close, but you can still walk in a couple of minutes to go get those last minute groceries from the co-op. And I think that's what makes Satan so popular. You've got the bus station, bus stop at the end of the road. You've got a public house. You've now got the cooperative. And if you've got children, you've got the primary school all at the bottom of the road. So from this large double bedroom, we go into the ensuite where we've got this walk-in, fully tiled shower cubicle, not cramped for room whatsoever with the overhead shower head. White suite with a satini, his and hers, wash hand basins, and obviously separate WC. So nicely ceramic tiled with brush chrome, shaver points, chrome heated towel rail, all the things you'd expect in a quality new build home. And then, fantastically, we go into the dressing room. It does its job. It's fantastic. Everything goes in there, so the bedroom is but a bedroom. So that's the master bedroom suite. And then I'll take you to bedroom two, which is a really good size. By the way, that's just an airing cupboard, so you've got your hot water cylinder in there. And then bedroom two, nice double-sized bedroom. But if you have a lot of guests, what I like about this style is you've got a second ensuite, which is, I think, fantastic if you invite people over. You've got your triple cream gloss fronted wardrobe, all built in. And then you've got a second ensuite, which again, got the same suite as the master, a little bit smaller, but you've got the high quality wash hand basin, still a double shower cubicle, all pristine as well. The property is in remarkable order. It's been really, really well maintained. So that's bedroom two. And then I'll take you now to bedroom three. Bedroom three being at the back of the house, it's probably got the best outlook. A good sized double bedroom. What I really love about this room is that you're not just overlooking the rear garden, which I'm saving till last because it's fantastically landscaped, but you've also got this great green space to the side and you've got an open view down the development. So again, you've got a, a big feeling of space. You're not too enclosed and you're certainly not overlooked. So bedroom three, again, in many houses would be the master bedroom. And I'll show you just because it's next door to it is your main bathroom. So that's your third bathroom up here. Again, three piece white suite, nicely tiled. The shower was put in over the bath. A lot of these things are upgrades. When you buy a new build these days, you don't get showers. Um, you, you get a sort of paved patio rather than a lot of paved patio. All these things add up and create big costs that the owners have done. So as we go along the gallery landing, last bedroom, bedroom four, the owners actually currently don't use this. They use this as a bit of extra study and reception space. Um, but again, another double sized bedroom. One I've recently sold, had a double bed on this side. But what I like about this room, I think it's great for a teenager because if you are studying and you're at school, you've got your study area and then you've got your bed area. You've got two pieces of separation. So I think again, well designed, particularly for older children. So that's the inside of the house. Now let me show you the rear garden. Okay, so we're into the back garden. And again, having sold a, rec a recent uh, Richmond on the development, some properties are still just small paving, bit of lawn, and that's it. But this owner spent an awful lot of time and money on the back garden to create a lovely social space, particularly in the summer. So you've got your first of two patios, block paved, brilliant barbecue area. I've invited myself to a barbecue when we sell this house, so somebody had better buy it. And then we've got the first of two good-sized outbuildings. So this timber shed here 
is a great man cave. I would love this at home. It's got built-in lighting. It is super and it would stay with the property. The lawn, of course, again, it's been re-turfed, it's been treated, and it's now a really good, high-quality lawn. The garden is heavily, heavily stocked. You've only seen the, the sort of bare, bare of it at the moment. I've seen pictures from last summer, and it's absolutely superb. There's so much planting in those borders. The block paving pathway takes you around the kitchen, um, and then you're onto your second patio, which is off the dining room. So when you come out from the dining room, you've entertained, you've got this lovely second patio here. The pergola with lots of climbing planters takes you down the side of the house to a timber gated access to the front and you've also got access to your, your utility room there. Around here, around the back of the summer house, you've got a great, I call it a bit of an ancillary area, somewhere where you can hide stuff you don't want people to see, you've got your bin area, you've got more space around the back of this large shed and then you've got a good workshop shed here, again with its own PowerPoint, even got its own, its own consumer unit. And again, a particular feature of this property, because a lot of people at the moment work from home. This is currently a summer house used for the owners. When they've had their barbecue, they've got this nice stepping stone pathway. And after, after the barbecue, they come to the summer house for drinks. The summer house, quite warm. It's got power, it's got lighting. Um, the two sofas could possibly stay as well as part of the negotiation. So it could stay as it is, as a lovely relaxation room, you know, post barbecue. But it also, also, I think, lends itself to being a home office, particularly in the spring and summer months. There is a, a plug-in heater here, and so it keeps quite warm. So I think this is a great addition. It's been really well maintained and stained as well, so you're not going to have issues with rot or anything like that. So that's the back garden. But again, just a couple of things I really like about it. With us being on the corner, it's got the wall curve boundary, so you've not got too many fences to look after. But look at all you can see is the trees and the distance and the sky. For a large development like this, I think it's in a great position, great location. So I hope you can see I'm really enthusiastic about this house, I love it. So it's a book of viewing, give us a call at Current Homes, we'd love to show you around. Our number is 01244 313 900. Thanks for watching.